Hi everyone, this is Dave Bennett and I'm going to show you how to create a massive backlinking website to drive page rank for your main website. That is, you have some website or affiliate link out there that will show up on Google and it's something you want to sell, but your website link or your website is not showing up high enough on keywords you need to get visible. So you can't get sales until you get that website visible on keywords you need. Then one of the best ways to do that and the easiest way in Moji Pro is to create a different website and have all of the pages on that different website we're going to create point in at your website with the keywords you need to be ranked for. That acts like voting for your website for those keywords. This is how it's done. Uh, these are not our rules, these are Google's and we simply follow along with the process. So you need a lot of backlinks on at least one other website, the more the merrier. And what we're going to do is create a massive website with thousands of perfectly optimized pages that are, the pages are optimized for the keywords you need. The backlinks continue with the same theme that is the same keywords and they point right at your web pages whatever it is that you're trying to rank and this is how you make your website magically rise higher and higher on Google until you're at the top of the front page for the keywords you're after it really is an aggregate sum game the more clean backlinks you have from pages that are related to the same thing as the keyword you're trying to show up for uh, the higher you'll rise in rank and even if you've never created a website before, you're going to find this easy. It takes like uh, five, six steps and we'll be done. So we're going to start at the very, very beginning. We're going to get ourselves a domain and a hosting account. We're going to set it up and just start walking through these steps. This is going to be pretty quick. So let me do this. I want to create a website. And I know that I'm going to backlink. In my case, maybe I'll backlink my website. Uh, and so I know what I'm about, what my website's all about. It's selling website marketing stuff, massive websites, that kind of thing. Build a website. So the first thing I want to do is find some kind of generally sensible keyword uh, to use as the basis for the domain name I want on my website. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go to Google's SK tool, that is search keyword tool. That's google.com slash SK tool. And when I get there, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put in some kind of a word that describes what I think is important. Maybe I want to make my website name uh, massivewebsites.com. Here's a question. Do people search for massive websites? How many searches are there? Massive websites. How's that? Uh, and let's say I don't want to go for the broad. I want to go for the phrase that's much more appropriate to the kind of thing I'm going to be doing. So that's what I want to find out. T-I-C-H-M-V. It's kind of hard to read these things sometimes. I think that's what it says. And then communique. Q-U-E. Let's see how we did. Characters are wrong. <laughs> S-S-A-I-D. 1987 let's see okay I got it that time all right wow massive websites might sound like a really big keyword but even on the phrase it only gets 12 searches a month and out of curiosity if somebody typed it in exactly just that there are less than 10 searches a month so that is not really a good keyword to make for my domain name I want to use something more sensible so let me go here to uh, global monthly searches and if I click it I can sort highest to lowest well the best thing it shows me is building websites very good building websites so I want to use that and see is there a building websites.com I'm just getting a quick check here building uh, websites.com let me just see okay there's something there what about building dash websites.com Oh, that forwards to some other page, so that's kind of a pain. Now, I could go further. I could try something like this, building websites.net. And there may or may be nothing there. There's something there. There is. What about with the dash? And every time there's something there, it really means somebody owns it. Up, oh, server not found. So I could do building-websites.net. Another approach would be this. If I want to stick with .com, then I want to get the keyword in there, but I could go a little further, you know, like uh, dash today.com. So now building dash websites dash today.com. Oh, nothing there either. Perfect. That's another one I could get. 
Uh, and just to show how far you can really go with this, what about building-websites-now.com? There we go. Not really there. But I might like building-websites.net. That's just two keywords instead of three. .nets are just as good as .com on Google. Building-websites.net looks like it is not owned. Perfect. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to keep this in mind. You know, I could copy it and paste it on a notepad if I need, just so I don't lose it. And what I'm going to do now is go to moji-crew.com. Moji, of course, is short for Mass Optimized Web Page Generation. M-O-W-G. Mass Optimized Web Page Generation and Dash Crew just means all of us, the members, everybody who knows how to use Moji. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and down here I'm going to find a link called Moji Usage Resources. So I'm going to click on that and here we go. At the very, very top there's a particular link for HostMonster. Please use this. This helps support us. It's our affiliate link for HostMonster. And it's just a way of getting in some extra votes with us because you get everything that HostMonster gives you if you buy directly from them or if you buy through us. The cost is exactly the same. You get exactly the same features and benefits. You get all their 24-7 support. But you also get things that we help you with. And it's just always a benefit to us. And therefore we always appreciate it when people go out of their way. Uh, there's some other things that you could get here. FileZilla, that's a free download, free usage. That's good. That's for FTP. We'll talk about that later. If you do not have a password keeper, RoboForm is an absolutely awesome one and there's a trial version of the RoboForm so that's very good as well. Uh, if you have never used a really good HTML editor, Adobe Dreamweaver is very expensive. It's like 600 bucks but they have recently come out with a subscription uh, option for 29 a month. Uh, so it's about a buck a day, really. It's 29 a month, and it's month to month. You don't have to commit to anything. It's just one month at a time. So you can crank out all your projects using a, uh, Adobe Dreamweaver really, really fast, and then, um, and then just not pay for it the next month if you're going to take the month off that kind of thing. So it's extremely cool and it's extremely easy to use. Probably one of the best HTML editors you're ever going to find. And we'll go walking through how to use some of that in later tutorials as well. You're not going to need this stuff though for where we're starting right now. Right now, all you really need to do is get HostMonster and then FileZilla. So go ahead and get those two from this page and here's how we do it. Let me go here and it's saying $6.95 a month. It includes the domain too, but if you click here, it gives you an option for $5.95 a month. And so we'll see how that works. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's how you're actually going to do it. You're going to get your domain name and your host all at once. Now, what did I want? I wanted, I need a domain and it's got the .com on the end with the drop down for .net. So let me go .net. And then what I need to put in here is what I was actually after, you know, which is building-websites, right? Building-websites. Not the today bit, just building-websites.net. Okay? So don't type .net in here. It already shows up here. Now we hit next. And it's not available for registration, so I will have to go with another choice. I could go with building-websites.org. Um, that's okay. I might do that. Or in my case, just so people remember who I was, I might come back and do something else. Let me just try a different domain name anyway. What about this? I'll stick with .com and go with building-websites-today. After all, how's that? Let's see. Next. Okay, there we go. Building-websites-today.com is available. So I can just go ahead and update my little list here, today.com, so I can keep track of it, right? I mean, you can always save your information if you need. They're going to send you an email with all of it anyway. All right, how do I fill this out? Well, if I had RoboForm, I'd use that to fill it out. I don't have RoboForm on uh, Firefox. I have it on... Uh, Internet Explorer, so I'd be hand filling this out then. Let me go ahead and pause and fill it out, and I'll be right back. Okay, just took a moment. I put in an optional business name, first name, last name, country, street address, city, state, zip, 
phone number and mobile for me is the same and the email address where I want the receipt to be sent so it's just for some other website I have or some other email address it really doesn't matter what okay I scroll down package information do I want to do a 24 month price of 595 or a 12 month price of 695 a month um, I'm just gonna go with the 12 month price of 695 a month just the way I go about things because I always like to watch and see what different hosting services do year to year uh, but that's how you know completely up to you what you want to go with I'll go with the 12 month for 695 I don't need any of the other stuff I don't need the domain who is privacy no matter how highly recommended they say it is I don't need it that's just for avoiding a lot of spam but I'm not going to even set up an email address on this website it's a backlinking website and I don't even need an email address set up on it I could set one up I just don't need to okay now comes the billing info so I'll be back I'm gonna fill that in and then go ahead and submit all you really need is just enter your credit card number expiration signature and confirm and next so I'll be right back and there it is it's creating the order and everything else authorizing it and here we go now if I want I can get another domain name as well just to go with and I could do that as a matter of fact if you want to see how you attach a different domain name to the same hosting site I could go ahead and do that now and I may as well so let me just get a uh, building-websites-today.net maybe I don't want to do that I want to create another one building websites now.com how's that and I can search for that and it says okay when you do the search here's how it works it shows you what's available from your search so now I want to go with this one building websites now I do not need the domain privacy or the site lock so I'll just go ahead and continue just like this uh, do I need any of this other stuff it's good to get dedicated IP addresses but it's not necessary it's just you know a little icing on the cake kind of feature so it's up to you it's 30 bucks a year so it's not that expensive I'll just go ahead and continue without it right now just so you get get your mindset that you don't really need it it's just it's good uh, you can get around to it if you want SEO link building everything else here I'm just gonna leave it not check marked and I'm gonna go ahead and hit complete you guys can explore these features however you want there's a lot here uh, for most of our purposes we don't need the majority of this stuff because we know what we're doing already all right so there we go additional upgrade total that's for the new domain and I'm gonna go ahead and hit complete all right so it shows me all my account information everything I need to know about it and along with that I can create a password now it's eighty three dollars and forty cents they billed me and that's for the year uh, on that plus the eleven dollars on the side for the second domain that's cool less than a hundred bucks and I am set for a year I can put two hundred thousand web pages on the site all backlinking whatever I want whether it's my stuff or stuff for clients who are paying me uh, I can make this thing pay for itself the same day if I really want uh, whatever I mean it's so easy to make use of a website once you have it it's so good to get one it's certainly worth a hundred bucks a year to have a hosting account with two domains there's just so much you can do with that all right let's go ahead and create our password because we need to create a password for the account so we'll just connect and go and do that I just need to fill in a password and then just some kind of a verification pin in case I forgot my password and so you know for those of you with a four digit number or four digit pin that you're just really familiar with type it in twice uh, it's got to be six to eight digits and that's what I mean so if your number was one two three four and hopefully it's not <laughs> then you can type in one two three four one two three four that way you'll never really forget it and then same with retype the pin again you can always keep your information up here for your passwords and your pins and save this somewhere you know just keep your information together and they will email you what you need to know so just remember your pins you know retype the pin if it's if you're doing if you're setting this whole thing up for a client uh, then type in some random number for them for the pin and then just let them know what it is you know so that way it's not your pin it's somebody else's all right so let me pause and set this up and I'll be right back okay here I got it in I'm all set I know what my passwords and pins are I got them written down there's no question that I can find this information if I need it so I'm gonna go ahead and submit and now that it's submitted I can use that password which I happen to have pasted in here so I can actually log into it for the very first time let's log in 
we can remember the password okay the first thing it does is tell you all the stuff it can do and you're probably gonna wanna just skip all that <laughs> so you can hit no thanks I'm not interested okay we don't need any of that for what we're doing anyway getting started we don't need any of this stuff we have our own website all of this is to help you set up a template because the assumption is you don't have one and you don't know how to set up a web page well we already have our website inside our v2 folder when we have the moji pro it's all in here we're going to upload it so we don't need to create a website on here we already have one so we can hit no thanks okay we'll get all the way to the front perfect now we can always say uh, it's saying, do you need help getting started? And in our case, no. We don't need to show this again. No, thanks, I'm fine. All it's really going to do is tell you what these buttons are about, which you can explore anytime you want. So don't worry about it. You don't need 90% of them for anything. Certainly not with what we do. All right, here's the stuff you need to keep in mind. There's your main domain, as you know. Okay, and here's your username. And so if you want to use FTP, which you will sooner or later, that's called fire, File Transfer Protocol. That's all this FTP stuff you see here. Then know that your default FTP is ftp.buildingwebsitestoday.com with your username and your pass. It's very, very easy to understand that. It's like this, ftp.buildingwebsitestoday. And it's your username is this. This is your default username for logging into your account and everything. Whoops, may as well get rid of the tab. And then your password is your password, which is your, you know, password. <laughs> and this is perfect. This is all you need for FTP. That's where we will use the whole FileZilla thing you got. If you didn't have an FTP client and you can type this information into FileZilla and now you can actually upload your website to the server okay and that's that easy it's really easy so anyway we're done we got ourselves a domain on a hosting account we got emailed all the information we need we have our information to log back in here anytime we want once you get all this done how do you log back in just follow the instructions in your email it's extremely easy and so all of this stuff is absolutely done and so we're through with what we need for this lesson. The next thing we want to do is FTP. So we'll go ahead and do that in the next topic. All right.